Ooh, it's going to be an exciting weekend. So this is such a fun event. I've been multiple times. It's awesome. 300 local artists will be in Little Italy this weekend. It's time again for Art Walk. Yeah, we get to enjoy this. And we have two talented artists joining us this morning, Stara Stiber and Krista Schumacher. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Oh, it's so good to see you both. We're excited to see your work out on display at the Art Walk, but you have artwork showing us this morning, too. So let's start with Sarah. Uh, let's talk about your work. We've seen some of your stuff in magazines, billboards, Times Square. Tell us all about what you do. <laughs> How exciting. Yes, so I call myself an electric realist painter, and I have been very busy experimenting with lots of new mediums. Um, this year at Art Walk, I'm going to be showing my brand new collection of tape paintings you can see behind me it's actually all created with tape and scissors oh, really? um, and then also I'm going to be displaying my new collection of jewelry and my plein air paintings and my large-scale acrylic paintings that I'm known for and thank you for mentioning um, Times Square it's been a very exciting couple of months I recently collaborated with Samsung and a painting of mine was on a billboard in Times Square New York Piccadilly <laughs> Circus in London and on the Duomo in Milan. So oh. it's it's been very exciting, but I'm excited to be back to San Diego. This is going to be my first art show in two years because of COVID, and my booth will be right in front of Blick Art Supply on India Street. So I hope you'll all come oh, to me. Sarah, that's so exciting. I just want to visit you to give you a big hug. How cool that you've seen so much success recently. Wait, can you go back to the tape and the scissors? Excuse, explain what you do with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I can show you a little bit of a close-up because okay. it's sort of hard to tell but behind me these pieces are all made of shiny reflective holographic sparkly tape which wow. of course is like my favorite thing ever <laughs> um, and I've been developing this style over the last two years or so so here's a close-up of a tape painting this one's no actually way. sold but everything behind me is available they're coated in resin and it's on plexiglass so it has this this see-through quality and there's just a lot of really exciting fun um like wow. textures and sparkles that i'm able to achieve with Sarah, this Sarah, that is so I'm cool just loving it <laughs> yeah i'm amazed at what tape can do that is awesome whoa that's so neat i love that now uh we do have multiple styles for you this morning for our viewers at home so let's bring krista into the mix now so krista you capture san diego scenes and you have a unique technique uh, tell us about your artwork Yes, hi, I'm Krista Schumacher and I'm an oil painter and a lot of artists use paintbrush to paint, but instead I only use palette knives. So I'm going to show you some of my palette knives that I use. So here they are, and I use the palette knife and I essentially sculpt the paint onto the canvas. So it's a little hard to tell via camera, but my work is actually extremely heavy textured with paint. Oh. Some of my larger works can take up to six months to dry. So you have to check what? it out in person this weekend at the Mission Federal Art Block. Does that mean it's like a kind of 3D, if you, not that we should be touching your artwork, but is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's really hard not to touch it, but uh, you gotta be careful. And I think that's so cool, Krista. So you're gonna be at the Art Walk, obviously, but you also are at a gallery right now? Yes, I have my own gallery in La Jolla. Um, it's a pop-up gallery until the end of January. Oh, that's awesome. How exciting and what talent. Yes. So are those San Diego views that you have created? Yes, so most of my work is inspired by this area and um, the nature that surrounds us. And I do want to ask you, because I've been to the Art Walk, and I, sometimes I feel a little awkward, like when I walk into people's booths and I like peruse around, I always want to ask a million questions, but I don't always buy something. Do you guys mind when people do that? Tell me the truth. <laughs> oh, not at all. Okay. I mean, these art shows are a great way for us to explain our techniques and our styles, and we love talking about our art. And where will you be set yeah, up? I second that. <laughs> okay, good. <good. laughs> Uh, we heard where Sarah is going to be set up. Krista, where are you going to be? Um, I will be at the intersection at India Street in Cedar. Okay. And uh, Sarah, if you want to tell us real quick for any advice for people who want to buy art, what do you suggest? Absolutely. I want to tell advice <laughs> about people who want to buy art. Um, so first of all, for my art, um, because I have some collectors that I know are interested in my um, collection that I'm releasing mm -hmm. um, online, I am actually going to be making my work available for sale 
online on my website right at 11 a.m. when Art Walk opens. Cool. So I would recommend taking, getting in touch with me beforehand, taking a look at the preview of my work. And if there's something you absolutely love, don't wait. Um, <laughs> you can come see it at Art Walk, but don't wait to buy it if you know you have your heart right. set on something. If Thank you're just you perusing much. or um, if you want to come see the work in person, absolutely, I'm so excited to see, see you in, in person, person to share more weekend, about my work. Little Italy, um, I offer we are out of time. Plans, so I think if you are a looking to buy art i know it's a bit, always a big investment um you can pay with payment plans over several months and then so many artists myself included have lower price items as well for like an emerging collector um, i have prints and smaller pieces um, smaller little originals that are at a lower price point as well so there's really a big and of course the jewelry that i'm showing for the first time um, in person at the show which i'm so excited about so there's a big range of things um, so you don't have to right. be a bajillionaire to be an art collector, <laughs> and I think um, we're all, especially at our admission yeah. federal art walk, trying support. to make artwork art and art buying accessible. Right, well. and we want to support what both of you do. Thank you very much for being on this morning. Great to talk to you both. Congrats. Thank you so much. Thank you.